Long before the word innovation took off, the Brotherhood of St Lawrence was being, well, innovative. In the second half of the 1940s, under the leadership of Brotherhood founder Father Gerard Tucker, the Victorian-based charity commissioned three short films to highlight the plight of people living in inner-city slums. The Great Depression may have officially been over, but its effects on families lingered. The poor housing in particular was of great concern to Tucker and his fellow advocates. Beautiful Melbourne from 1947 exposes the appalling living conditions of families living in the inner Melbourne suburb of Fitzroy, long before the hipsters came in. In small, overcrowded, dilapidated, mouldy and vermin infested dwellings, the film, with a sense of humanity, shows us the true state of poverty in raw footage that is powerful and shameful. Halfway through the film, to offer a point of contrast, we're introduced to a well-to-do family in a comfortable suburb of Melbourne. At film screenings all across the state, Father Tucker would give the audience lots of anecdotes and stark statistics demonstrating how much higher the rates of death, sickness and infant mortality were among those who lived in the slums than among those who lived in the comfortable suburbs, as most of the viewing audience did. One reluctant audience member was Victoria's then Premier, Thomas Holway, who said he was too busy to view the films. Tucker then advertised his travelling cinema as the films the Premier dare not see. These Are Our Children from 1948 tells the story of a teenage boy and girl who have little to occupy their time and end up in the children's court after a bungled petty crime attempt. While the acting may not have won an Academy Award, the message was clear. Then, as now, the Brotherhood believes if young people don't have the chance to study, if they aren't encouraged to stay in school and move on to an apprenticeship or a job, then other less productive paths can emerge. Jail Does Not Cure is about chronic alcoholism. Using a mixture of actors and real life footage, the 1948 film doesn't pull its punches. As well as booze, methylated spirits was commonly consumed on inner city streets. This film helped spur discussion about the effects and causes of alcoholism. The Brotherhood was ahead of the times in helping people who abused the drink. Rather than treating alcoholics as criminals and no-hopers, the mainstream approach of that time, the Brotherhood approached alcoholism as a sickness, as it's now regarded by health professionals. Tucker would drive home that the films show what's happening in your city under your very nose. He would say, it is all morally wrong. The reason slums are still with us is because successive governments have believed you do not care. They've always taken the view that if you were concerned, you'd let them know. Today, poverty in Australia looks different than it did in the 1940s, but it's growing under our noses. Latest figures show almost three million people were living in poverty in Australia in 2014. 13% of the population, including 730,000 children. At the Brotherhood, we also know that people living in the outer rings of major cities face more social exclusion than those living in the inner city and inner suburbs. Community services and public transport in the outer rings of our major cities have failed to keep up with population growth and housing development. And being true to our word to work towards an Australia free of poverty, the Brotherhood has recently moved several of our offices and services from the inner city to the outer suburbs of Melbourne, on the city's fringe where the bulk of urban disadvantage is found. While poverty and social exclusion may have shifted, it has far from disappeared. Tucker's campaign to rid the inner city of its slum conditions should find new resolve today in ensuring all Australians, no matter where they live, have the same level of community services and equal opportunities to education and employment.